hi my loves welcome back to the stars card Touch channel if you don't know i am star y'all i will get to the comment section i just haven't did it because i'm already you know what i'm saying you going through it trying to take care of myself and just you know keep myself progressing okay um but I will get to it. I just know while there are some very kind hearted, I, I love y'all. I love all of y'all that support me. I love all of y'all that, you know what I'm saying, are praying for me. And, you know, just thank you. I love you. There are some very nasty, mean, and just terrible people in this world. And for my all sanity, I'm just chilling right now you know what i'm saying i'm going to relay the messages that god gives me to relay you know keep it easy and steady you know um doing my daily 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 the necess necessities okay as far as working ensuring that i eat ensuring that i'm able you know get in the tub and you know wash my face brush my teeth and bed rest i can't stay bed rest bed rest and bed rest some more and just rotating my ankle as this uh is getting itself together but i must say it's not as bad as it was um last year when i hurt my ankle when i twisted my ankle i actually took pictures and i should take i'm gonna take pictures again but I took pictures and I looked back on those pictures and I was like, whoa, my ankle was bad, bad. Okay. It was, it was, it was something serious. And comparing how it looked back then to how it looked now, I, you know what I'm saying? It made me feel a little bit better. But, anyways, for my own personal sanity, you know, me doing this 100% by myself, okay, me and my ex are not together in any shape, form, or fashion, we ain't even talking, no more, so, you know what I'm saying, I am 100% taking care of myself, 100% having to get myself around, 100% doing, you know what I'm saying, so, doing all of that, because, any kind of injury makes anything that is simple and easy a thousand times harder. Just that alone, you know what I'm saying, is enough. And I'm not trying to go in the comment section and see people trying to, you know, be nasty and rude and mean for no reason. Okay, I, I, I have bigger fish to fry and I will deal with them later. Anyways, the message I heard is a new kind of Christian. The scripture comes from 2nd Estras 14 and 10. For the world has lost its youth and the times begin to wax old. For the world is divided into 12 parts and 10 parts of it are already gone. Even the half of the 10th part. And there remains of it two parts after the middle of the 10th part. So here's the message. Baby, ironically, that goes in with what I was explaining about what I'm going through. God said we live in a time where people will literally scream from with their whole chest about how they are Christian. They God fearing. They love God and they do exactly as God wants them to. And then turn around and be nasty to somebody else. Uh, God said a fellow Christian. Be nasty to a fellow Christian. Try their best to throw, throw shade and throw salt. See somebody going through something and instead of picking them up and lifting them up as Jesus would do. They want to kick them and, and step on them and, and step on their hand and laugh at them and taunt them and try to ensure that they stay there because they don't want them to get back up. God said this is a whole new, new, new play field. OK, those that are actually doing as God commands are far few in between. And that's just what it is. Whew, that's the message. God said those that are actually following God 100%, they are far and few in between. But 
We already know that we serve a God that sits high and looks down low and he sees everything going on. He see everybody. He see what they say. He see what they do. He knows the intentions behind it. He knows the intentions as to, you know, why they would do how they wanted to make you feel, how they wanted you to react, how they, they wanted this, that, and the third, baby. God said he see all things and it's nothing that's just going to slide past him. It's nothing that can slip past him. It's not a situation where you can try to, you know, and I'm just thinking about how the Southern girls, God is saying the Southern girls, how sometimes they'll say something and they'll say it like they intend for it to be nice, but they really trying to shoot some shade. God said he see through all, he see through the smiles, he, th he see through the, the shade. He knows when somebody has intentions of being hurtful, mean, and harsh to someone that they should be loving, kind, and compassionate to, and he will be seeking judgment upon them. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why so many people that they want to change the rules to what God said. They want to try to twist it and turn it. And they, you know what I'm saying? And even at the very least, if you feel as if someone is not the kind of person you would like to be around, you feel like they're not the kind of caliber of person that you respect. You feel as if they are just, um, they're not godly enough for you. The very least that you could do if you are not going to inspire them in a positive manner and if you're not going to be kind to them is leave them alone. But to go out your way to try to be mean, to go out your way to try to be nasty, to go out your way to try to make them feel as if they are inferior to you when nobody is inferior to anybody else. Nobody sits as high as God sits and ain't nobody up there on his level period it don't matter what you feel like you got going on what kind of life you feel like you live how you feel like your life is going now because baby god god can take anybody down at any point anytime anyways that's the message god said he is seeking judgment he is seeking judgment he is seeking judgment on somebody that's faking like they all for god but deep in their heart they are far from him. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.